Well, today I'd like to break down my home recording setup for my saxophone, and I'd like to try to go into as much detail as I can because I get a lot of questions about this, and I just wanna make sure that I have all of the information out here. So let's start out with the microphones. So my main mic is an AEAR88, and this is a stereo ribbon mic. And I really like this mic because it gets a very warm, dark sound, and it's a pretty big sound. And um, especially with having a stereo output, I get to run two lines into my interface. And so I get, I, if I want to, I can sort of like tweak two different channels and logic, but I'm gonna get into that in, here in a second. The other microphone you see here is a Rode NT1A, and this actually came with a keyboard that I bought, and I wasn't even planning on using the microphone, but it turns out it's an excellent mic, and I use it anytime I'm recording my voice. I'm using it right now, and I've started mixing it in when I record the saxophone, and I have it just a little bit higher and slightly off to the side, but I like it because it seems to capture maybe a little bit more of the high end of the sound. And when I mix it in and sort of pan the two microphones together in the mix, I can get a really nice blend. So the R88 microphone runs into this preamp, which is a DW Fern VT2. And then the preamp runs into my audio interface, which is a PreSonus Quantum 2626. So two microphones on the saxophone and three lines running into my audio interface, two from the ribbon mic and then one from the road mic and I record everything into Logic on my desktop, and I just wanna show you what this Logic session looks like from this little bit that I recorded. So the top channel is the Rode mic, and I actually double this track so that I can pan it a little bit to each side, and then the bottom two tracks are each track from the R88 microphone. And so in terms of panning, what I've been actually messing around with is trying to get sort of like a broader pan, and so with the Rode mic, I'm actually panning these 30 degrees, I guess it, it's called, to each side. And then the R88, I think I've just got them 10 off on each side. I am by no means a professional audio engineer, but I like Logic because I think it's user-friendly enough where I've been able to teach myself what I need to do. And this panning thing is nice because it sort of spreads out the sound. You're not getting all the sound like right in the middle of the microphone. So with the Rode mic, I'm not adding any reverb, um, but with the R88, I am adding some reverb. So I wanna just give you some samples of the sound with, with and without panning, just so you can sort of hear what I'm talking about here. So first, just to give you a sample of the room sound, this is the same thing that I recorded, but now you're just gonna hear the audio from my phone, which is placed just slightly off to the side. <laughs> Okay, now let's listen to the audio just from the camera, and I have an external mic hooked up to my camera, which is another type of Rode mic. It's pretty good, um, but now you're, you're gonna be able to hear sort of the room sound because the camera's just a little bit further away. <laughs> Okay, so when I'm recording into these microphones with saxophone, I like to have the R88 pretty much in between the bell of the horn and the neck and slightly facing down. And you sort of see how it's like pretty even right in the middle of the horn here. But I actually try to aim my bell slightly off center of the R88. If I'm right on it, I get a little bit too much air picked up in the recording on, right on that microphone. So I'm pretty square on with the mic, but aiming my bell slightly to the left of the microphone. So my bell is actually aimed pretty much right at the Rode NT1A mic, but since that mic's a little bit further away and a little bit higher up, I don't really get too much air picked up in that microphone. Okay, so let's listen first um, to the R88, just the pure sound, no reverb with that microphone. And I'm not gonna pan it either. This is just the sound right in the middle of the mix. Okay, now let's pan each channel just a little bit to this each side and let's add some reverb. Okay, so the reverb I'm using in Logic on the R88, and I'm using this on both channels, 
is the AU Matrix Reverb. And here is a screenshot if you wanna save this or try it for yourself. These are the exact settings that I'm using for the reverb. Okay, so now let's listen to the Rode mic. And um, again, I don't actually add reverb to this one, so you're just getting the pure unfiltered sound. This is just the Rode mic. <laughs> Okay, now let's actually mix the R88 and the Rode mic together. And so, like I said a minute ago, I'm panning the Rode mic 30 degrees um, to the right, and then I've doubled it 30 degrees to the left. And then I'm also panning the R88 10 to each side. And I've got the reverb on the R88 this time and no reverb on the Rode mic. <laughs> All right, so I think it's starting to sound pretty good. And my goal here is to be able to capture really good studio quality sound just here at home. And I've, I feel like I'm getting pretty close. I'm still learning a lot about this process and still tweaking things. And I would love to try out some other mics in the future, but I just wanted to break this down for you. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And hopefully you can give this a try for yourself.